Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Bakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will, and peace, love, and salutation uh, to you, Akim, that's pushing his truth and truth sincerity. And this is a response to uh, many great videos that brothers have done con con uh, concerning these guys, martyrs of Yahweh Shai. You know, just by looking at their page. You know, they're, they're another Johnny Upstart group that think they got the truth. You know, they're proud. You know, they, they preach Yahweh Shai in a spirit full of envy and contention. Okay? They're trying to discredit the teachings <clears throat> in this sound doctrine. All right? You go to God, look on these guys' page. They got hella views, thousands of views. All right? So they're trying to, they're trying to debunk that two-thirds won't come back into the kingdom. All right? So, uh, my first part, I just want to get a couple scriptures on that. Matter of fact, I got my Bible right here, so I'm gonna just get into it. Um, just, just, just first and foremost, let's just I'm gonna get a couple scriptures and I'm gonna uh, hit this topic of reincarnation because you got another guy that claims he's under Yahweh Shai, saints of Yahweh Shai, and this guy used to be in GMS a long time ago, but he just bugged the hell out. You know, he, you know too busy making a rap career and he says y'all cut the hell out that reincarnation elam doctrine so he's basically saying that reincarnation is from elam and not the heavenly father all right all right this is romans chapter 11 and verse uh 26 and so all israel shall be saved as it is written so it is written that all israel shall be saved this shall come out of Zion, the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. So all Israel shall be saved at the end of the day. But, let's go to uh, Zechariah. Alright. <clears throat> Zechariah, um, is it 13? Zechariah 13, it says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, that land is talking about America, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein, that remnant. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, It is the Lord is my power. So, you got to go precept upon precept. All Israel shall be saved, but two-thirds on this side had to be cut off and die, whether it be the, the nuclear missiles, the thermal intercontinental ballistic missiles, um, the uh, famine, the pestilence, you know, so on and so forth. So these guys don't know what the hell they're, they're talking about, man. Two parts there shall be cut off, but it says all Israel shall be saved at the end of the day. How are we going to go into the kingdom uh, well, whose children are we going to have in the kingdom of heaven? You know, that, that doesn't uh, make sense, all right? Let me get a scripture right quick. Yeah, here's the one. All right. Um, Isaiah 16 and 22, a little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong nation, I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. You know, this sounds like the crap that, um, I, I heard another doctrine of, you know, we won't have children in the kingdom of heaven. And, you know, some jakes believe that we're just going to be virgins in the kingdom of heaven. No, we have to re we have to bring our nation back. All right. Those two thirds, Lord willing, we endure. They're going to be, um, they're going to be children of the elect, man. Okay. We're going to bring them back. All right, and we're gonna build our nation. So th this doesn't make any sense at all coming from these knuckleheads. And like they said, these are Johnny Upstarts. You know, this guy on the left hand side, he got a head full of dreads, but he trying to teach the scriptures. All right, and that's the Elon custom. Them dreadlocks, not reincarnation. Okay, so let me go to um. Uh, let me see. Ezekiel. 
I think it's Ezekiel chapter 20. Yeah, Ezekiel chapter 20. Um, <clears throat> Ezekiel 20 and I think verse 43. I'm going to start at verse 40. Ezekiel 20 and 40. For in my holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, saith the Lord power, that shall all the house of Israel, all of them in the land serve me, there will I accept them, and there will I require your offerings and the first fruits of your oblations of all your holy things. I will accept you with your sweet Savior when I, when I bring you out from the people and gather you out of the countries wherein you have been scattered, and I will sanctify in, in you before the heathen. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I shall bring you into the land of Israel, into the country for the for the which I lifted up my hand to give it to your fathers. And this is this is talking about the latter days, the kingdom of heaven now. And there shall you remember your ways and all your doings wherein you have been defiled, and you shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for all your evils that you have committed. And that's talking about the two thirds that are gonna come back. They're gonna remember that some of them were sodomites. Some of them were heavy into Esau's uh, beast system. All right, they were into Christianity. They were Muslims. All right, but they, they some of them remember walking by the camp and snickering and talking mess about the uh, prophets who's bringing the true doctrine, not you uh, knuckleheads, these two knuckleheads on the screen. All right, they're going to remember their own ways and their head is going to be low. All right, this is the scripture indicating that two thirds are going to come back to the kingdom of heaven now i want to switch gears but matter of fact um and you know i'm gonna just bring out this point right here man um i'm gonna go to matthew um because you know they always say that gms is the worst camp we this we that gm gm mess but a lot of you a lot of you jays don't have no mercy towards your people and some of y'all don't even go out to teach we love our people even though we know two-thirds of our people are wicked we had to love to go teach our people on the highways and byways in season, out of season. Like I said, these Johnny Upstart guys, these guys, man, they don't. They, these guys don't last long, man. Okay. In my short enough time being this truth, I know that guys like this, they're just the flavor of the week, and they just want they just want views. Next thing you know, they're gonna make a, a rebuke on GMS video, uh, a rebuke. They're gonna try to rebuke the elders and the men on down the Great Millstone. Just you know, this is what happens, man. This is the flavor of the week. This is Matthew 9 and um, uh, Matthew 9 and 35. And Yahweh Shai went about all the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Now we're doing it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai Shai with his word. But it's going to get, um, we're going to get spiritual power, spiritual power uh, real soon, Lord willing, to do all these kill sicknesses. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. So the Lord had compassion upon his people. But you got these guys that are always calling us names and this and that. We're just simply bringing out the word, man. And we're bringing out the right and correct way. And you know, a lot of you guys... Don't even have the compassion to go out to the highways and byways. You just you just want views and attention, like a woman. All right. So let me just uh, switch gears right quick to this uh, reincarnation topic because this saint of Yahusha, which he's not a saint of Yahusha, he's a he's a saint of Satan. All right. Ain't no saint of Yahusha, man. Get that, get that out of here. This is uh Ecclesiastes. All right, because reincarnation is biblical. It's not some Elam doctrine, man. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. We are literally under the sun. If you go outside, we are under the sun. So there's no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new, it have already, it have been already of old time, which was before us, alright, 
There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come afterwards. So when you come back, when you when the scriptures say, dust you are, dust you return, your body goes to the earth, your spirit goes up to the spirit world, and then you come back in your lot, whether you be righteous or wicked, okay? And, and this saints of Yahushua God, he clearly doesn't understand that. He, he clearly doesn't understand that he can be part of one of those wicked Israelites that came back that was a wicked Israelite, man. All right? He doesn't understand his lot. All right? Because he doesn't understand the reincarnation doctrine. He says it, it says it's Elam doctrine. And he's got this emoji on here like this is some type of game. Okay? Let's get this one in Psalms right quick. Psalms 104 and 29. Um, Psalms 104. Verse 29, Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath, they die, and return to their dust. From dust you are, dust you return. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. So that goes into reincarnation, man. Period, point blank. And in your lot, all right, you die, you go back up to the spirit world, and then you come back. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you an example of it. All right. In the scriptures with our Lord and Savior, you got this guy calling himself Saints of Yahweh But what, it, uh, what does the scripture say concerning our Lord and reincarnation? This is uh, St. Matthew uh, 1 and 1. The book of the generation of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the son of David. So he was Solomon. The son of Abraham. So he was Isaac. All right, he was Solomon and Isaac. So if God is calling himself saints of Yahweh Shai, he should know better. Okay? And I'm going to get that scripture right quick um, when it comes to mine. Okay? Concerning, um, oh yeah, 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 okay. That's the spirit work. Uh, Psalms 110 and 1. Psalms chapter 110 and 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, this is a psalm of David. Let me read this again. Psalms 110, a psalm of David. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Verse 2, The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. So how this is a psalm of David. And it says the Lord, in capital, is the Lord uh, Yahweh. He said, The Lord said unto my Lord. Now at the time, he was king, he was king of Israel. So how is this, how is somebody else his lord? Because Yahweh Shai was Solomon, okay? And that's what's something that saints of Yahweh Shai does not uh understand. Let's get another one concerning uh Yahweh Shai. This is Revelation chapter one, verse seven. It's not just them. You got you got a whole bunch of uh Israelite camps, like strong tower Israelites, they don't believe in reincarnation. You know, a lot of them, are just, they just don't know what the hell they're talking about, man. They need to be retaught again. This is Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, those chariots, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so are mine. So, two-thirds of our people, they, they're the ones that said, let the blood be upon us and our children, all right, when they crucify Yahweh Shai, and... Those Romans, these Romans cannot be 2,000 years old. He's Yahweh Shai is coming back soon. So how could those that pierce him see him being having a 2,000-year-old body? No, they're reincarnated. They're put back in their lot. Okay, Pontius Pilate is back here today, and he's going to get his judgment. You know, Pontius Pilate was like, I washed my hands clean. No, you're going to get judgment. So he, he had to be brought back to get his judgment. Okay? This is, uh, I'm going to give you another one concerning uh, Job, just real quick. This is Job 19, and um, let me see, Job 19, and uh, I think it's 25. Let me see, I, there's a one concerning, I know my Redeemer liveth. Uh, let me just type it up. Give me one second. All 
Alright. I'm not looking for the Christian song. <laughs> Job 19 and uh, 25. So like is that. Alright, Job 19 and 25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. We're coming into them times, man. And, and though after my skin worms destroy his body, this body, excuse me, destroy this body, all right, he perished, went back in the spirit world, yet in my flesh shall I see God. So how is Job going to see the most high in these latter days? Through reincarnation. Verse 27, whom I shall see for myself and my eyes shall behold and not another, though my reins be consumed with me. So Job is going to see the Lord come back. And I got one in Ezra's, okay? It don't stop with the reincarnation, man. All right? And this guy saying to Shai and these guys up ahead, if they don't repent, they're going to come back and they're going to load the way. They're going to load their ways because they're going to be looking like dummies if they don't repent. Okay? All that, laugh, all that laughter going to turn into sorrow pretty soon, man. For you false teachers in Israel. All right? This is 2 Ezra 16 and... um. Let's see, 2nd Ezra 16 and 17. This is Ezra, all right, known in the Apocrypha as Ezra. It says, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sin and scourges for the amendment. So we're in that time right now. That didn't happen back during Ezra's time. Ezra is here today prophesying the things that he wrote about, okay? And he has a better understanding now, okay, of these scriptures. And I got one more. I'll just end it off. Um, let me see. Daniel. Yeah, that's the one. Daniel um, 12. This is uh, Daniel chapter 12. And um, Daniel 12 and uh, let's see where was that? Oh, yeah, Daniel 12 and 13. But go thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest. All right, Daniel is going to. Uh, his spirit is going to go back to the spirit world. He's, he's going to perish. He's going to rest in the spirit world and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. We're at the end of the days right now, so Daniel's back, okay? They're going to stand in their lot as prophets because the spirit of the uh, prop was it? Let me, let me get it right quick, man. I don't want to chop it up. All right, this is um, 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So if you if you were a prophet back then, you're going to come back, come back and be a prophet in these last days. And these guys don't seem to be prophets. They seem to be mockers and scoffers. So, hey, Lord willing, um, that lesson was edifying. Once again, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well in this sound doctrine. And peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.